ABU Robocon 2019 Mongolia Asia Pacific Robot Contest was organized on the 25th of August in Ulaanbaatar under the auspices of the Prime Minister of Mongolia. The Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union has been organizing and broadcasting the International Robocon Contest through its member broadcasters. The Mongolian National Broadcaster organized the 18th edition of the contest ABU Robocon 2019 for the first time in Mongolia. 17 teams from 16 countries and regions and over 300 guests and representatives took part in the event. Teams were from Cambodia, China, Egypt, Fiji, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Japan, Kazakhstan, Malaysia, Mongolia, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Vietnam. One, two, three. Hello, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Uh, we believe we are the champion. China champion. So we are here with Cambodia. Hello, Cambodia. Hello. Hello, Cambodia. 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 So here we are with the supporters from Fiji. So hello, Fiji. Hello, Fiji. Two national winner teams from Mongolia participated at the event as well. The Robocon contest has become a real expression of knowledge, skills and innovative thinking of students majoring in technology and engineering. Uh, it's very nice and uh, I think that everything is very good. So they make a robot very nice but and, um, the, there is uh, some uh, difference because uh, it is almost impossible to make everything the same with their countries and uh, uh, field. Competition area of this year's ABU Robocon 2019 featured elements from the Mongolian national heritage. The teams performed the contest tasks of delivering messages using the Uto system, created by Mongolians for the first time in the world. Also, Golden Gerbeg, Mongolian diplomatic passport, which was used in the 30th century, was the main tool for the participants during the event. Nowadays, sharing knowledge is the key to enriching knowledge. The theme of ABU Robocon 2019 Ulaanbaatar was developed around the idea of enriching knowledge by spreading information to one another. One key ingredient of this competition is the judges. Judges ensure the transparency and fairness of the competition. Judging team consists out of five people, namely two from Mongolia and three from Japan, Vietnam and Fiji respectively. Future engineers participate in the contest every year and compete with each other as well as learn from each other. Robots are created using the intelligence and skills of the students. We are trying to uh, improve the performance of our robot 
Uh, so we wish uh, in this uh, this run uh, we will be able to uh, get in some uh, length of the competition. Um, yeah, we're quite ready and we are going to the, the field in 10 minutes. So our robot is good, our team is alright and keep calm, everything should be alright. Um, hopefully we do our best and based on the performance we're quite confident that we can yeah, show the, the good performance. Robocon is the robot contest among students majoring in technology and engineering. This contest has been a source of inspiration for students to create robots with their own hands since it has been organizing in Japan for the first time in 2002. NHK Television initiated the ABU Robocon project and Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union extended the project significantly. We, we just beat our against enemy. The worst. Now so, India. so India is like are very uh, and, uh, like they are uh, against us and they are competing us in every like uh, we are like uh, conventional opponents. Uh, so we have we are feeling great after uh, we are uh, winning against them. So the advantage the advantage was that uh, we were we were like we stuck we stick to the rules. We were like going steady and slowly, like you know, slow and steady wins the race. So like we were like steady and uh, like we were uh, all, all on the rules and they were they like they violated yeah. something, so that's why. Thì trước trước khi bước vào trận đấu thì đội em có xảy ra một số lỗi và tụi em chưa khắc phục kịp được cái lỗi đó và em hy vọng trận tiếp theo thì đội em có thể chạy một cái bài thi nó hoàn hoàn chỉnh hơn không bị xảy ra lỗi nữa. So she had they had a problem with the robot before the match. They cannot fix it before the match, and the match it will be not exactly like they imagine. But they will try their best to fix the problem before the second one. We are we are quite satisfied with the result. Uh, originally, our goal is just being the best state, and as far as we know, that we are able to achieve that what we have planned for, and we are quite satisfied and we are excited to see many different teams uh, that are doing quite well. But although some may have some misunfortunate error happening when the uh, competition begins, but we can see there is very very high standard for the uh, national team. Uh, how's your impression? Good, good, good. It's the first time here, and we are supporting Team Fiji. Uh -huh. And we, we've seen that they've done their best. We are really proud of them. Uh -huh. yeah. So how many of you came here? We are just supporters. We are just supporters, yeah. yes. Yeah. We're, just supporters. we're here, uh, we're, we're teachers here. Yeah, so we came back, we came on the same flight, so we said we're gonna come and support them today, yeah. So how do you see the advantage of the Fiji's team? Oh, well, I, seen that they have been exposed to all this modern technology and we hear that Fiji is hosting next next year and they'll be better their performance then. The ABU is one of the biggest broadcasting associations in the world with 272 members in 76 countries of four continents. Eight teams were selected to play in the quarterfinals. The Grand Prix winner of this year's ABU Robocon 2019 Mongolia was the team from Hong Kong. They had a match in the semi-final with the team from Mongolia. We have 10 seconds until final match. Please be ready. Now let us start 
the match and count down all together. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Sun Yeolman. ABU Robocon 2019 Mongolia Asia Pacific Robot Contest was successfully organized in Mongolia for the first time. Thanks to everyone who took part in the event. See you next year in Fiji for Robocon 2020. Karen Chief Executive Officer, Fiji Television.